Hey guys, Chrono16 here. Today is date June 16th, 2014. I know it's been a long time since we've made any videos here. Long story short, reason being, guys, uh, YouTube has been censoring the you know what out of my channel. They've been censoring my view counts. They've been censoring the subscribers to my channel. They've been censoring search results to all my videos on my channel. And uh, the reason why they've been doing this, guys, I've released a lot of videos talking about what this corrupt government of ours here in the United States has been doing. They don't like that. So they've been censoring and trying to hold back my channel. Uh, I have a little bit over 26,000 subs to this channel, guys. Hard earned subs. But I can guarantee you that my sub count will probably be around 40 or 45,000 right now if it wasn't for YouTube censoring the you know what out of my channel. Uh, YouTube is a direct extension of the United States corrupt government. That's all I'm going to say about that. Now, we're talking about in this video, Comet Jax. Now, Comet Jax was discovered in March of this year. Comet Jax C2014E2 is already expected to reach a magnitude of plus seven or more by mid-July, they think, in hope. And if that were the case, you should be able to see it pretty easily uh, with nothing more than a pair of decent binoculars. Also, some people are saying that it may reach a magnitude of plus three. Now, right now, this is a website linked under this video where you can track real-time information about Comet Jack as it uh, continues to head toward the sun right now and away from Earth. Uh, and it's getting closer and closer to the sun, which means it's getting brighter and brighter and lower on the horizon. Now, how can you see Comet Jack once it comes out from around the sun? Well, that's what this video is about. And as you guys know, I use a program called Stellarium, a free program linked on this video. First off, let's discount a couple of things already. There's people already out there making videos, namely BP Earthwatch, the same guy who made all those weird videos about ISIN, is already making videos about this comet, saying that it's causing major solar flares to pop off the sun. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, comet Jax C2014E2 is not causing any solar flares to pop off the sun. Okay? This is the same guy who said the same thing about ISIN. This is the same guy who said ISIN was being steered by UFOs. This is the same guy who said ISIN was three times bigger than the planet Earth was. Well, if ISIN was three times bigger than the planet Earth, ISIN wouldn't have disintegrated at all when it ran around the sun. Okay, enough about that. Now, early in the morning, and I got this set to around 4.43 my time, central time. We can even go a little bit farther down around closer to 4.30, around uh, 4.30, 4.40 in the morning time around July 10th, you should be able to see, in fact, let's just go up an hour here, guys. Let's go up an hour and go back a little bit to right about there. Now, it's going to be harder to see, but you should be able to see Jax early in the morning between Venus and Mercury. Now, we know this was, those are two bright uh, morning stars, pretty much, in the morning sky, you should be able to see Comet Jax in between them. Now, Comet Jax is going to head to its closest point to Venus on July 13th, early in the morning. It will reach 7.9 million miles from Venus. Now, in astronomical terms, that's pretty darn close, but it's not going to cause anything to happen to Venus. Venus is not going to have a comet tail. It's not going to crash into Venus, according to the calculations that we have now. It's just going to harmlessly pass by Venus and continue higher and higher in the sky. Now, as we get farther into the morning hours uh, of July, or excuse me, farther into the days of July, uh, the comet will continue to hit higher and higher off the horizon. And around the 20th, the 20th guys, it'll be just up, as you can see here, this is the uh, galaxy plane here, the Milky Way behind it, and it'll be right in there, and you should still be able to see it as it continues to head higher and higher. Now, we are even going to back up an hour here, and what we're going to do is we're going to continue to go up in the month of July and go all the way to August 1st. Now, by the time August 1st gets here, guys, you can go outside around 3 a.m. in the morning, pretty much, and you'll be able to still see uh, Comet Jacks low on the horizon, and you should be able to see it much easier 
as well. Now, uh, as, as we get up around uh, August 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, as the time continues farther into August, obviously the comet's going to get higher. And around 2 a.m., around, let's say, August 10th, actually, you can go to around midnight, actually. Central time, you can go outside and the comet will be rising, but obviously it's going to get dimmer as we get farther into uh, August. The comet will continue to get dimmer and get farther away. So that's how you can see Comet Jacks, guys, as it uh, after July 3rd, as it reaches its closest point to the sun. Uh, that's how you should be able to see Comet Jacks looking out toward the east first early in the morning around July 10th. You'll be able to see it. Uh, in between Venus and Mercury as it heads toward Venus and uh, as it continues on and out of our solar system it'll get higher and dimmer as the month of uh, July and August continues on toward the fall time. Guys, we'll be making more videos about this comet and other things as we try to return to making videos. Hopefully we have weathered this uh, huge weirdness from YouTube. Anyway, thanks for watching. Much love and God bless.